Our demand, we have three main demand which uh, are very clear. First, we want to seek the truth for Theos case. Without independence and professional investigation, that cannot be done. So the government must ensure uh, they are really the independence and professional police force to investigate this case. The second, upholding justice. They must prosecute and convict those who violated the open House of Human Rights under the Penal Code, uh, including the Section 302 or Section 304. Okay, the third one is to reform the institution because uh, other than um, Beng Ho, there are a lot of the people die in custody also, whether they die in MNCC custody or police custody or immigration detention. So this is a serious case. We hope that um, by demanding justice for Theo and demanding institutional reform in the future, there should be, be no more uh, within of death in custody. So for this 15th anniversary activity, um, we will organize a walk for justice from Praza Masaram, Sharam, where uh, Benghok died, then to walk um, to this uh, Prime Minister's office in Putrajaya to demand justice uh, for him. And we will pass through few main uh, points uh, such as uh, MACC, Slango Office, and uh, this uh, Bukit Aman, the Boris PDIN headquarter, and also the, this uh, AG Chamber in Putrajaya. Why we want to pass this venue to organize some protest or submission of memorandum? Because we want to show that uh, our institution are dies functional. Okay? It's not functioning at all in Theo's case. Since very beginning, the police did not carry out the investigation um, independently and professionally. That's why today we still don't have answer and justice. And if you, if you follow the case, you can see that since the case was reopened in 2018, the police and AG Chamber, they keep kicking the ball to each other. The police say, oh, I already submitted the case, the investigation report to AG Chamber. AG Chamber said, said no. He came back to this uh, police, then police sent again, then AG Chamber came back again. So, five years have, part, uh, have passed, but nothing has happened. So, all these institutions fail the Dio family and feel the Malaysian people who demand the answer in the past 15 years. That's why we need to go through this route to show uh, to the government that this institution has failed the people. On 16 um, July, we have a memorial, uh, we have two activities. Uh, 16 July, we have the, this uh, co-organizer together with the Open Hall Association, which is the EDIC, the Chinese Assembly Hall Youth. Uh, we together organize these two activities. The first one is at 6 p.m. We will have uh, this uh, 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 memorial event at the riverside, just beside the Bar House building. Correct. So the 8 p.m., the memorial night will be here at the, this uh, second floor, I think the Yan Ching Wen, the, the, the hall. Okay, so we will have some solidarity speech, we will have some singing and this, uh, uh, some performance. Um, then, um, yeah, a moment of silence to remember the duo and also the other victim, including another victim, Gunnar Segran, also died on the same day, uh, 15 years ago. For the work for justice and the memorial event, we welcome the member of public to join us because the this work, especially this work, we will, um, we will, this will be, uh, the format is that we will take turn, okay? Not uh, all the people walk through the 100 kilometer. So everyone, member public, can register with us at this uh, Google form. Then they can choose a period. They can walk maybe half day or how many kilometer. 
because uh, we want to make it more participatory. So this is a uh, demanding justice. It's not only uh, us. We must ready the people behind for the justice for Bangkok and also the, this uh, institutional reform.